How many of you would just love to be successful at school? How many of you want to be successful at your job? How many of you want to be successful in your relationships? How many of you would like to be successful in your life? Come on, raise your hand. Life Moxie, it's our ability to learn about how to take care of ourselves and we're really going around the country talking about changing the conversation. Well, I'm going to tell you the secret to being successful. It's all about Moxie. All about Moxie. How many of you know what Moxie means? This is such an East Coast term. But I want to know what you think Moxie means. Moxie, what does Moxie mean? Somebody call it out. Spunk. Chutzpah, spunk. Thank you. What else? Gut. Gumption, courage, determination. Who doesn't want a piece of that? Who has Moxie? Name somebody that has Moxie. You. <laughs> Thank you. Other than me. Walter. Walter. Where's Walter? Walter has Moxie. <laughs> Say yes first and then figure out the how. Well, once I figure it all out, then I'll do that. Right? We don't have time for that. We just got to put something on paper. We got to build that prototype, see if it works, and then make changes. Madonna, if you want to model for Moxie, Madonna is it. I'm telling you, whether you like her or not, I'll tell you a secret, she doesn't care if you like her. That's Moxie. Well, I'm going to rule the world. That's what she said she was going to do. That's what she's done. So in the face of all that life throws our way, mm -hmm. how are we going to persevere and just move forward? And we each have our stories mm -hmm. where, wow, things have happened to us mm -hmm. and we've picked ourselves up and we've moved forward. There's a lot of uh, elements to creating mm -hmm. this. Uh -huh. And I think sometimes we look at people who have succeeded in life, whether mm -hmm. it's in business or Hollywood or whatever they've taken on, they've succeeded and we think, oh, they have moxie, they have moxie. Mm -hmm. They must have been <laughs> born with it. If we want to run, not walk, run towards something that's a fire in our belly that we're so excited about, how excited are we going to be when all we do is complain about, oh, this failure and that failure and this happens to me and that happens to me? What we need to do is talk about all of the things we've accomplished, all the great stuff that we've made happen. Why? Because we've done it before, we can do it again. There are a lot of people out there that think you're pretty great and that you've accomplished a lot and you forget that. So create a win file, start collecting those things, print out those emails. How many of you can name someone in your life that no matter what idea you have, they're going to tell you why it's not that great? Wouldn't it be great if we had a remote control and a mute button for people? <laughs> A little mute button that could shut them up. And for God's sakes, if you have to pay someone, pay someone to say yes to you. <laughs> I don't care. Do whatever you need to do, but surround yourself with yaysayers. Mae West used to walk in the saloons, and she'd say, Who here needs to know me? <laughs> what do we do when we walk into a bar or a networking event, we go, oh my god, where's Cheryl? Cheryl said she was going to be here and she's not here. Oh my gosh, I'm by myself. Let me find the food, the water, the bathroom. Respond. Don't just react. Now the reactions, those are the lemons that life throws our way. When we respond, we're making lemonade. Life just has its way, right? It just throws things at us. What's important is what we do with it. What can we do? to still move forward and have everything we want. Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart was brilliant at this. Brilliant! She ends up in jail. A lesson to be had for everybody else then. I was about to do that. And what does she do? She creates a whole PR ploy on the whole thing. She comes out, 
Everyone thinks, oh, we're done with Martha Stewart. No, we are not done with Martha Stewart. She not only made lemonade, she made lemonade products. She opened a lemonade stand. Moxie moments are those kind of things where we're going to create a little one, and then we're going to create another one, and we're going to create another one, and it's just going to expand our comfort zone, and we're just going to get out there. When you are feeling like you're not all that excited about your life, mm -hmm. stop and realize that you can create another way to live. And Moxie is that another way to live, and it just gives you a little bit of an edge and an excitement about your life, mm -hmm. and you can create it just like everyone else has, <laughs> and it gives you more fun, more opportunities, and anything that you want to create. If you're trying to put more Moxie in your life, stop figuring things out. You guys just threw it out there. Do the same thing. Stop figuring it out. Just go for it. Act as if. Because when you act as if, people think as if. When you come in and you have that confidence and you're exuding that, people think, oh, she's got something. She knows something. When you sell your products and you act as if it's the greatest product out there, they'll think it is. I know exactly what I'm doing. Even if inside you're shaking. This is the faking it till you make it sort of thing. People with moxie act as if. And I started interviewing and I'm telling you, I interviewed for four months. I kept going back, and I was in love. If you can fall in love with lawyers, I was in love. I wanted to work there so badly. I was so sure I was going to be one of those attorneys. After the four months, Christmas Eve, I get a phone call. I'm so sorry. We're not going to be able to offer you a job. Oh my gosh. Now, when I react, I cry, so I cried. I couldn't believe it. What do you mean? I was supposed to be at Pillsbury. Well, why? Well, we don't think you have enough experience. And then, after about a week of sulking, I thought, all right, I gotta, I gotta do something. I gotta do something. What am I gonna do? So I started filling out resumes and writing letters and getting back out there. And then I thought, I'm not done with Pillsbury. So I wrote Pillsbury a letter, and I said, I understand you think I don't have enough experience, but here are the 15 ways that I'm gonna get that experience, and then I'm gonna come work for you. And I made this stuff up. I mean, I said I was going to take some more classes. I'd work for somebody else and come back. I even offered to work for free. A couple weeks go by, I get a call from the managing partner's secretary. Corey wants to have breakfast with you. And I'm thinking, oh, consolation prize. So I show up, and he looks at me, and he says, we got your letter, and we obviously made a mistake. We'd like to offer you a job. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> now, here's the point of that story is I could have walked away. I asked why, and then I responded. That's making lemonade. Even if they had said no, who cares? I put it out there. So when things happen and life throws you lemons, please make lemonade. But what's interesting about Moxie is it's about having the energy and the mm -hmm. excitement and the kind of the guts and the spirit mm -hmm. to do anything you want. Mm -hmm.